Right, I'm here at Roos, which is uh, like north of the island, and there's been a big story in the paper about uh, this pier just over my shoulder there. So yeah, apparently there's been some like we've had some storms, which we have had, and uh, it's damaged quite severely the pier. Um, apparently the waves been hitting it so hard. We had a really strong storm a while ago, and uh, it's it's dislodged. The uh, granite blocks at the end, and there's quite a bit of damage to the pier. So, I'm going to go down a minute and show you what they're on about. I haven't seen it yet, and I reckon like another storm will finish the pier off it, like a massive chunk of it will collapse. I don't know how bad it is, but every time there's a high tide, I think it's eroding away at the um, you know, the grouting. Uh, it sounds quite bad, so I'm going to go down there and see what they're on about. All right, let's go and have a look. Okay, so we're heading on down the towards the pier. You can see it in the distance. So this bit is just like a bit of a slip road uh, heading down on. There's some people actually about to swim. I've just seen them somewhere. Oh, there they are. So they're going to brave it in. But it'd be really interesting to see uh, what's happened to the blocks at the bottom of the pier because um, you know what I mean. I mean, it takes some heavy winds and tide to uh, you know sea to move all the big blocks. But we've had some big storms. So you can see the pier at the moment is pretty good nick. It's um this bit's fine. I don't think this bit gets battered as much as the end bit. Those swimmers told me that the sea was nice, nice temperature. Actually it looks pretty nice to see today. It's really nice and clear. It's quite tempting. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, so just looking at the pier at the moment, um uh, you can see like there's big blocks each side. And in the middle, there's smaller little bricks, granite granite blocks on the side. They're pretty big blocks. And, um, you know, they've got like the grouting in between them. Nice sea. Nice day, actually. I did come down here the other day to film this, and the tide was right over the pier. I didn't check the tide, but a uh, bit better today. So, so far, looking at the pier, uh, looks okay doesn't it i can't see any problems at the moment but i'll have a closer inspection i think it's towards the end i can see a stone sticking up or something sticking up at the end of the pier there just see it at the end oh look if you look to the left here it looks like some are looking a bit dodgy let's have a look oh yeah look at that yeah, so that's definitely uh, some damage there. It looks like they've all broke away from like the centerpiece, doesn't it? Wow. I think that's a bit of grouting sticking up. Yeah, they've really come loose. Look at that. They've taken a battering. I just wonder how secure those are. I'm not willing to stand on it to find out. Yeah, look, so there's some severe, uh, pretty big cracking there. It's all coming apart a little bit, isn't it? So that, as far as I can see, this bit here is a bit of grouting. This is between the two blocks that's been blown up by the sea. Unbelievable. I'll just give a bit of a close-up on the cracking. So I hope you're getting a good view. You can see there's been some pretty decent damage. I'm just wondering the best way to fix these, whether they've got to take them down completely and redo them. I'd have thought they would. I think they'll have to wait to a spring tide to do it in order for the uh, the grouting or whatever they use to set. So probably a spring tide would be the best time. I think they mentioned that in the paper. There's those swimmers, look. Lovely day. How beautiful is that? Well anyway, that looks pretty nice. Remember, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff on Guernsey. And I'll see you next time.